In this video we're going to look at using a single supply op amp, the LM358, as a current source. So the main property of an op amp, one of the main properties, is that when you have a voltage at the non-inverting input, and so I don't forget uh, later on, you notice the non-inverting input is up here, but on the integrated circuit that we're going to use, the inverting input is above the non-inverting input. So we got the non-inverting input above the inverting input on the schematic. They don't always line up with the pin layout of the integrated circuit. So always be careful that you pay close attention to where the plus is and where the minus is. But in any case, when it comes to the op amp, it looks at the voltage at the non-inverting input. And when you have feedback, negative feedback, to the inverting input right there. The output changes its voltage as needed within limits. You only got so much power. But uh, in any case, it changes its voltage as needed to hold the same voltage at the inverting input as the non-inverting input. So we can take advantage of that. We can set with a voltage divider, if we have a 10 volt power supply, two equal value resistors, that's what we're going to do, to set 5 volts at the non-inverting input. So the voltage is going to rise at the output until we got 5 volts at the inverting input. If we have an LED in the way, then it'll probably have to rise to 7 volts to 8 volts. 7 volts probably for a red LED, 8 volts for a blue LED. And then we got us put a multimeter to measure current there. That doesn't uh, take any voltage, so it just looks at the current going through it as if it's a piece of wire. So, in any case, we got 5 volts. So, we can pick a resistor to go to ground, and it's going to have 5 volts across it, because we already talked about why. And uh, at that point, that is what will set the current. And so if we use a 1 kilo ohm resistor with 5 volts across it, we'll have 5 milliamps of current and an LED or no LED whatever you put there as long as you got enough voltage will not influence that current. Of course we have to power the integrated circuit we got VCC some data sheets say V plus so that's the positive side of the power supply right there to pin 8. We're not going to use this op amp over there we're just going to leave it alone. Now we come over here the other side of the power supply it may be ground maybe VEE or V minus because if you're using a single supply it's ground but if you're using a dual supply ground is halfway between the voltages and so you may see VEE or V minus if it's a, a dual supply circuit. So in any case we got uh, ground to pin 4 because it's a single supply. Now I got the current setting resistor the 1 kilo ohm resistor to the inverting input and so it's going to be above the voltage divider because as I said the pins are opposite what we saw on the schematic. We got the LED here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn the LED this way, put the long lead, the anode, or the output, short lead, the cathode. I'm going up one row. And the reason why is because I'm going to bridge that gap with the multimeter so we can look at the current. That is uh, most important. Now we will set our voltage divider. So this one's going to the positive side of the uh, power supply and then to the non-inverting input. Remember, this is the voltage we're setting that will set the voltage at the output thanks to a negative feedback right there so don't quite want to go in there we go and uh, that's it we got our two equal value resistors to opposite supply rails there you can see we got the power supply set to 5 volts I already have the multimeter set to measure milliamps of current pretty straightforward turn the dial there don't have to move the red probe for anything other than high current for this meter. Other meters you may have to move the red probe. So we will uh, zoom back and uh, take our uh, measurements. So I'll try not to go back so far that you can't see what's going on. So we will put the uh, black probe to the resistor, the current setting resistor, and then the red probe to the cathode right there. And there you can see we got uh, 5.23 milliamps of current. So usually if you swap a red LED for a blue LED. Make sure we put it in the right way or else it won't light up. Usually you lose some current because it drops more voltage. But as you'll see here, 
it's not perfectly the same but it's uh pretty close to spot on the same right there so now we'll move the uh, blue LED so much more drastic is to just put the black probe to the resistor and then make a direct connection to the output right there and there you can see so it's not exactly the same current as the other ones but it's it's pretty spot on this is quite a difference here instead of no LED we just have the multimeter which basically acts like a piece of wire lets current flow through it freely so the output is doing what it needs to to get to the same voltage at the inverting input as the non inverting input and uh, since we have a resistor from the inverting input to ground its resistance sets the current after that point one kilo ohm makes it easy so in any case hope that all made sense hope you enjoyed uh, check out my links down below donate if you can that'll help out a lot and uh, check out the other links but uh, watching helps a lot too so thanks for that I'll see you in the next video